Hello everyone, I am Dr. Radhvait Sai Alampur, Consultant, Cornea and Refractive Surgeon, Sai Jyoti Eye Hospital, Sikandarabad. Now, today's topic of discussion will be completely about LASIK, where we'll be talking about LASIK, the pros and cons of LASIK, what to do before the procedure, during the procedure and after the procedure, the risks and benefits of laser refractive surgery and also we'll be talking about some myths and facts about LASIK. So firstly, what exactly is LASIK? Now LASIK is a laser refractive surgery which is done to get rid of your glasses or contact lenses. And how do we do laser? Now this laser is basically done without any injection. It is done with anesthetic drops. These drops basically numb your eye. So once your eye becomes numb, during the procedure you will not feel any discomfort or any pain. And it is a completely painless procedure. So LASIK is a surgery that we do to the front surface of the eye, also called as the cornea, which is basically a transparent structure. So in LASIK what we do is the cornea, we create a flap. So we make a flap, the flap is raised, then we give the laser and then we close the flap. And this flap heals on its own. This is basically a LASIK. Now the second procedure which is called as a PRK, also known as a photorefractive keratectomy. Now in this procedure what we do is we peel the skin, also known as the epithelium of the cornea and this peeling is done with the help of a laser or manually with the help of a blade. Now after the skin is peeled, again the laser is given and the skin heals on its own. So during the healing period which takes about 3-5 to five days, we keep a contact lens and that is a PRK. So who is a candidate for a LASIK? Now not everyone is a candidate for a LASIK or a PRK. So all the patients what we do is we do a safety test. Now the safety test basically is nothing but to check the thickness of the cornea because the laser is something that is given to the cornea. So once we check the thickness of the cornea, we'll know if the patient is eligible for a LASIK or a PRK or if the patient is eligible for both the procedures or if the patient is not eligible for any of the procedures. And then the candidate gets to decide. So uh, what are the precautions that needs to be taken before the procedure? So before the procedure, if the patient is using any contact lenses, we need to make sure that the contact lenses are discontinued two weeks prior to the procedure. On the day of the procedure, patient should not use any kind of eye makeup because that can lead to any infection. Now during the procedure, now as I said, LASIK or PRK is a completely painless procedure. We do not give any injection and it is done without any stitches. Uh, what we do is during the procedure, patient is first prepared and shifted to the operation theater. Now once the patient is uh, shifted to the operation theater, we put eye drops just 5 minutes before the procedure. Now these are anesthetic eye drops. Now these drops basically numb the eye. So once your eye becomes numb, patient will not feel anything during the procedure. Now the entire treatment time takes only about 3 to 5 minutes for each eye. So within 10 minutes, patient will be outside the operation theater. Now this procedures are completely painless and it is completely uh, injectionless and stitchless procedure. And uh, LASIK and PRK both are a daycare procedure where the patient comes, gets operated and leaves home immediately. Uh, what are the precautions that has to be taken once the patient goes back home? Now the most important is the post-operative medications which will be given from the very day of the procedure where the patient will start the medications as soon as the patient goes home. So the medications has to be used on time. If any pain is there, patient can use any painkillers. And uh, the most important is after the treatment for two weeks, patient should not take a head bath, basically making sure that water or dust does not enter the eye. And uh, other than that, normal routine activities can be continued from three to five days after the procedure. The healing time for a PRK is slightly more than a LASIK. The healing time for LASIK is one to two days, while that of a PRK is about three to five days. So both the procedures, patient can continue the routine activities just one week after the procedure. And uh, there is no other restrictions and there is no dietary restrictions. So patients can continue a normal diet. And uh, so that is about uh, LASIK and uh, PRK. Thank you.